In this video today, we're going to talk about stellate ganglion block and what it is, what it does, and how it could potentially be able to benefit you. If we haven't met, I'm Dr. Orlando Landrum, an interventional pain and regenerative medicine specialist who helps patients understand their options for getting back to doing the things that they want to be able to do, how to be able to punch pain in the face, and how to be able to lead the life that you deserve. Today, we're talking about a certain type of procedure that's called stellate ganglion blockade. So what exactly does this entail? It's a procedure that's done in the front portion of the neck or anterior portion of the neck that attempts to target a collection of nerves. And those collection of nerves are located in the front portion of the cervical region. So if we're looking at a spine like this, and we're able to kind of see the context of where this sits, what we would be looking for is the anterior aspect of the spine. So if we're looking at that area, we'd be looking at the regions that would be in the areas in here. Now, as you can see, there are a number of different structures that could potentially make this problematic, specifically the nerve root and the foramen, as well as the blood vessels that exist in and around these areas. So why would we go through the trouble of doing something like this? Well, the reason why is that it has a wide range of treatment options to be able to deal with different disease states and conditions. It can help from everything from complex regional pain syndrome to different types of nerve problems that can exist in the neck, in the head, in the face. It may be able to improve things like headaches, postherpetic neuralgia, and elements of other treatments from trauma, that can result in order to be able to get sustainability. So what do you feel as a patient in terms of having this done? Frequently, you're brought into the procedure room or operating theater, you're placed on your back, and the doctor will clean off your neck and they'll use some imaging modality 90 to 100% of the time to be able to ascertain the exact position of the needle. Historically, it's been done with x-ray to be able to document the areas around C7, which is a retrieval body, and placement of that needle in the C6 or C7 area to be able to get some clarification. Recently, it's been utilized with the context of ultrasound so you can identify various structures that you can't see under x-ray. So those are gonna be things like various blood vessels that can have weird and different trajectories, as well as being able to identify different gastrointestinal structures that sometimes can have aberrancies like the esophagus. So what can you expect when you get an injection like this? Well, it affects something that's called the sympathetic nervous system. So what exactly is the sympathetic nervous system? The sympathetic nervous system is a part of your nervous system that doesn't require conscious thought. In essence, it's the nervous system portion that has us blink, that has our heart rate associated with it, that has the way that food moves through our gut. That's what the sympathetic nervous system is. And when it is, quote unquote, haywire, it can certainly result in causes of pain. One of the more invasive ways to be able to deal with the sympathetic nervous system are different treatment options like neuromodulation, for, in, for instance, spinal cord stimulation. This is a treatment that doesn't necessarily involve the same degree of invasiveness, but it's the placement of local anesthetic, typically in conjunction with some form of steroid in or around that nerve root to see if you can get a response. In association with this, you can get different symptoms from something that's called a Horner syndrome. So a Horner syndrome actually affects the context of the eyelid and having a droop that takes place, warmness that's present throughout your face, and a notable difference in terms of the sensation that you may feel. And that is due to the sympathetic nervous system responding as it would when it is quote unquote blocked. So can this be able to help you for nerve pain? It certainly can. It can be able to provide you pain relief and is a treatment option that most people don't know about, but now you do. Question of the day. 
if you were to have nerve and face pain, would you consider having a sympathetic blockade like a stellate ganglion blockade? If so, please leave in the comments below why or why not. Again, if you like this video and you found it of value, please hit the like button and subscribe button and let us know what other videos you might be interested in so we can help you be aware of your options, help you punch pain in the face and get back to leading the life that you deserve. Thank you.